Welcome back to Open House. Well, now it's time for something that's as much a part of the British holiday experience as a stick of rock, donkey rides and rain. It's uh, the saucy seaside postcard. Now, no self-respecting resort shop would be without a few racks of these slightly risque cards that seem to typify the British sense of humour. And here to show us what keeps them giggling on the beaches, will you please welcome postcard expert and collector Jack Sammons and joining us once again, Roy Hadd. Hello, Jack. Done it all wrong here, haven't we, Jack? Yeah, we, we, could have, we, could, we should have done the beer bench. Just over. hold on, guys, hold on, and we'll see what we can do for you at the end. Leave in the meantime, some. while I've still got you with water in front of you instead of beer, <laughs> Jack, I mean, people send postcards, really, just sort of to say to people, hi, I'm having a lovely holiday, how sure. are you to keep in touch? Yeah. But to you, they're much more important than that, aren't they? Oh, yes, every postcard is a, an item in social history, there's no question. Um, the, it really took off at about 1903, so you can get a, a postcard, which is an antique, sort of nearly 100 years old from or oh, as cheap as 20p 30p mm. so and it's you know, not just the card is it i mean you've got the stamp and the message on the back the whole thing that's right you? that's right and uh, people collect the postmarks would you believe there are some very special postmarks from army camps and things like that yeah. or even the highest price postcard, I think, was posted from a balloon, would you believe? Good, I don't know. Did you do that? <laughs> that? I don't know. That would be thousands of pounds for that <laughs> postcard, I'll tell you. <laughs> so if you see one, give it to me. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes, absolutely. I mean, Roy, what do you think is, is their role, really, in British comic heritage? Well, as far as I was concerned, I mean, it was a, it was a great source of material for comics when I started, you mm. know. Uh, I mean, you get immediately go through the postcards and great jokes some of them had, you know. But it was a sort of swap for, oh, wasn't sure. it, really, Jack? Yeah. yeah, the Bamforth people... Um, Bamforth are the, are the people who have a museum of postcards now. Uh, it, yes, it's actually Kirkley's Barrow yes. put it on in a cinema, which uh, Bamforth made silent films before mm. they made postcards, and the, the cinema has now been taken over for, partly for a museum. And there's going to be a gala open. Mm -hmm. But uh, to get back to Roy's point, yes, the, what would happen would people would go to the theatre, the music hall, and pick up the gags and put them on postcards. And then they would get the reps in and say, what do you think will sell? And then they'd get the staff in, what do you think will sell? So it was a team effort trying to narrow mm. down all the gags. And, and we used to buy the postcards and do yeah, the gags and do back, gags back again. <laughs> right. Actually, the one that we were just looking at there um, is, is a gag on a music hall song, Everybody's Doing It. Yes. Yes. And and immediately after that, there was another one off the back of that, wasn't there? Oh yes, the, the uh, that's right. This is a, a pun. Of course, there are thousands of postcards with yeah. puns on. And this one so. says what, Roy? I can't see it. Can't it. Yeah. I tell you what it says. Everybody's ruining it, ruining it, ruining it. 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 <laughs> Can you remember the song, Roy? Can you remember the song? Everybody's doing it, doing it, doing it. Yeah, ba da ba ba da ba ba da. That's it. That, that was the song, obviously. <laughs> and that was, was yeah. so. That was how they started. But I mean, a, a lot of these postcards also were, were the, the product of some very, very famous artists, weren't they? Yes. Oh, yes. The uh, it was Douglas Tempest, Arnold Taylor. I mean, they worked for years. So. Douglas Timmons, I think, joined them in 1911, left about 1953, something of that order. Then being Bamford's, who, who were producing yes, these cards so at the time. he would have drawn postcards through two world wars and uh, all the new appliances which came along, bingo, every new thing that came into the social history, like national insurance, unemployment, depression, they made cards of all these things. Who was the most famous, though, Jack? The most famous one we should all know. Well, Donald McGill. Yeah. Donald McGill. Yeah. Yes, he... We've, um, we've actually got a, a, an example of one of his, but before we come to that, uh, yeah. um, let, let's just talk about the themes that they use. There, there's one of the McGills, actually. That, that's actually that. a very famous one, and that one says underneath... Can you see what that says, Roy? No, I can't. Father no. and mother racing on the beach. You can see fathers in front and mothers behind. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's the way she tells them, you know. But you Look see, I that. have to. It's the way I. It's the way I tell them. I Look have to the say that that, that is a eh? classic example, isn't it, Jack? Yeah, yeah. Of the way in which fat ladies yeah, were yeah. very much. I mean, nowadays, sort of very politically incorrect, but they were very much the, the butt of a lot of jokes on this. Would you know there was a thing, Andrew, that um, Flory Ford, the great uh, lady chorus singer used to do a gag which apparently they put into a postcard as well and she was a very big lady but it is on a postcard as well and she said always stick with a big girl boys <laughs> you see you get warmth in the winter and shade in the summer 
<laughs> well, we haven't got a card that says that, but we no, have got one that's Popsy Wopsy. Now, what was the Popsy Wopsy one? Which one was that, Jack? Well, I just got back from Devon. There's still a few of these about. Oh, this one. Just a line from your little. Just a line from your little Popsy Wopsy. What about that, kid? Just take a look at this next one. Bernard Manning in drag, isn't it? <laughs> Let's take a look at the next one. When I came in here, I was 36, 24, 36, but now I'm... 72, 48, 72. Yeah. You won't know me when I come home. Look at that. <laughs> Not bad, is it? And, and what was, what's the other one there we've got of, the, of, of very fat ladies again, which is over oh, there? look at that. There's, that's right. Boy, look at that. Look eh? at that. There's nothing like sea air for filling your lungs. <laughs> now, they, they, they always seem to make the women very big and fat and the men very tiny and yeah, weedy. Got a skinny one behind you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was a classic. I remember that. that I always remember seeing that one on a postcard. Not that particular one, but very with a very thin girl in the middle, which was very rare. Yeah, it wasn't a very thin yeah. one. Yeah. And they say the caption was, if she swallowed a gherkin, it would start a rumour. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is here, we see we've got role reversal because we've got, instead of a fat girl, we've got a very thin girl. Yes. And the boys are actually sort of laughing at her, making fun of her. They're oh, really quite yeah. cruel, aren't they? I think it's because it's Patty Coombs, quite honestly, that, yeah. don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and they're laughing out of love. <laughs> did, uh, did, we, did we ever have a situation where the, the saucy postcard was under threat from, from the picture postcard? Because, I mean, this then started mm. to become popular yes. too. What do you mean, the, the topographical? The yes. 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 I think it's a different market, really. I think the probably the middle class would buy the scenes, but the working class, if we can use these terms, yeah. <laughs> you know, the people who probably went to the music hall most would buy these cards. And, and then that's in where the sixties the and the fifties, they started to yes. change somewhat, didn't well, they? Well, you've now got stand-up comics, and they've sort of uh, taken over from musical, haven't they? Yeah, and, uh, I mean, we were talking about it earlier on, Jack and I, and it was to me, it was the great appeal of the Crazy Gang, you know, the Flanagan and Allen, yeah. and all this sort of thing. All their jokes were like seaside postcards, yeah. really. Yeah. Weren't they, so, Jack? so what would we make of it? Oh, actually, this one's lovely because it says, "What well, you wouldn't catch me in a bikini, Alfred," and he says. I wouldn't even chase you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't even chase you. But what's nice is on the back, you see, we were talking about them being part yes. of social history. You've got on the back there the stamp, the message, mm. the name and address, mm. the whole thing. And this one says, having a nice time, love from Reenie, Jack and family. And it went to somebody who actually lived in Marsden in Kent. Mm. But we've also got another one here, which says, I sent you this one because some of the others were a bit rude. And the <laughs> thing is, in the 50s and the 60s, they started to get yeah. rude, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. These are risque. Yes, fun. that's right. Innuendo, really. Yeah. It's a sort of more yeah, mature right. type of thing. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, if people do say that, oh, like Max Miller, the crazy gang, they were dirty jokes. They weren't mm. dirty jokes. They were very innocent. Double they were, tundra, That's it. Yeah. And I think when the postcard started to get really horrid. There's another one. You see, there. That, that's that's from the 50s and the 60s, isn't it? Oh, that's a cracker. I like With a hole in the, in the <laughs> side of the tent. There's a big hole in the side of this tent, mister. All right, miss, I'll look into it. <laughs> yes. And that's the one, you see, which has got on the back of it. And um, there were other postcards, but I thought that they were a bit rude. Oh, so, really? So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I mean, the was Roy Chubby Brown, is it? Roy Chubby Brown. <laughs> and we've got the last one of all that we have to look at. I mean, you mentioned oh, yes. that they're antiques. They're actually becoming highly collectible yeah. because this one, which says, Hey, Sonia, is actually quite a modern one, isn't it? Yes, it's uh, it was the artwork. Which, of course, the artwork is about that size. Yes. And then it shrunk down. That size being what it about the size of a tea tray? It came up for sale at uh, Christie's yeah. and yeah. Uh, sold for over a thousand pounds. For the original for artwork. The original artwork yes. So they clearly are very, very collectible. Oh yes. Oh yes. And yes. the odd thing is, it is a, it is a p particularly British sort of phenomenon. This you don't get these saucy postcards if you go anywhere else in Europe, do you? No, perhaps not. Uh, Americans are quite keen. They're not quite as saucy as ours, I think. Not quite as saucy. No, there's a huge as ours. international exhibition coming up beginning of September at the Royal Horticultural Hall. But Halls, in the meantime, if people want to go and see a lot more of these, they can go up to the museum, which is in, where? In Holmforth. In Holmforth. Last of the Summer Wine. Last of the Summer Wine country. country. Which is the perfect uh, seaside oh, yeah. postcard. Absolutely. We've got Roy, Jack, and all we that. have to say thank you both <laughs> very much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, Roy Haddon Jack. <laughs>
And that, I'm afraid, is it for today. And indeed, uh, that's it for this week. On Monday's Open House, we're going to be honouring the master of horror and suspense. That's Alfred Hitchcock, of course, when we look at his groundbreaking films with his daughter, Patricia Hitchcock, and the star of Frenzy, Barry Foster. We're going to see you then. Have a great weekend. In the meantime, I think you were both saying you wanted the beer. Where's he <laughs> gone? Hey, good on you, kiddo. There we go. Let them go out. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>